I have something for you. Um, this is from Emily. I haven't talked to her ages. We'll be uh, moving in together in the fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. Daddy. <laughs> oh, come on. No. Oh, this. read this? I didn't. I read a page. A page? Two pages Two. at the most. And the part about you and Emily touching each other and kissing. Oh, that part, yeah. yeah. Incredibly descriptive. I felt like I was there. You're a great writer. I mean, you know, just... I think you should keep it. You should read it when you're lonely. I can't. I get your diary, so I can't do that. No, really, first. really, I, I just... I don't need it. I've already got it memorized, so I'm just gonna leave it on the table. Keep a hard copy of that. That might be nice for me. <laughs> I wonder why Emily gave it to you to give to me. Hmm. Hampton? Mm -hmm. Hampton. Are you gonna join mm -hmm. us? Ooh, that's Hampton Roth. He's an incredible writer. His book on the McGovern campaign is... Yeah. You... Yeah. We do. Look, have you ever actually had sex with a sexagenarian? I haven't. Well, then, you shouldn't really judge. Well, actually, I'm not judging. Uh, look at you. You're beautiful. You're sophisticated. You're a very talented writer. Thank you. I mean, to please a woman like you, it would obviously take a... Real man. Exactly. Hard to compete with that. Well, unless you're the competitive type. Yep, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's great meeting you, too. Um, I, I feel horrible about taking the... Sorry. I was just curious. Hampton encourages me to cultivate my curiosity. He says it's the key to being a good journalist. Give us a call sometime. We should all go out for dinner. No, I'd like, yeah, I'd love, love dinner. <laughs>